The great problem with Africa is the extemporaneous excitement of attitude to catch up with the Western world in the process lose the cascading steps that are required towards growth. The cups are so selfish that every glass cup it waits to be filled before it overflows. We can't be glass cups. We have to be baskets. We must leak out. I'm a child born into poverty. Yes. So I understand the circumstances of my people. If government recognize the downtrodden, when your laws are intended to serve the weak and the poor, then God will rise in that nation. What we have done, we have brought a veloscopy and kinetics of youthful energy to create a kaleidoscope of energy that Bro. creates an elixir. <laughs> Problems only get addressed when a step is taken. And that's why government is taking the step to ensure that this pain and badality orchestrated upon innocent people must stop. My team and I, including yourselves, will offer our right eye to honor Ayadike and my passionate and spiritual commitment to governance and to my people that I shall do nothing less than what is required to show that Cross River State we we'll move from a third world to first world. Because I'm a professor of science, I know how this virus moves. I know its etiology. I know transmissivity. I know its antigenicity. I know the pathogenicity. Because I do. I know that once you put on this mask, you already have been protected. Government must be that model that absorbs everybody and reduces the shock of recession and provide opportunity for everybody to be able to have food on the table. Humanity is the feeling that you have a heart, you have a conscience. I don't cry because I cry for a living. I cry because I just think that we suddenly, Africans have found themselves in this show where there's no more logic, there's no more fairness, there's no more culture. What's African in us? Africans have a sociological anthropology. Help your brother. It's a clarion call that hey, man is losing it. Man, what is your problem? Where is the humanity? Where is the community? Where is the family? I'm not a politician. I'm a businessman who finds himself in politics and decides as a system purifier to make a difference. And that's why you ask about me in Nigeria. Once I say it, it will come to pass. For any sociological inoculum to undergo a transformation, to give you a new kinetics that creates a cortosis, that gives a direction of hope and of purpose. It starts with a dream. The abundance, the superabundance of the densification and the food force of that dream becomes only manifest when there's a consistency of idea and a pursuit of good. You don't give because you have enough, but because you care enough. But because we care, even from the north in the state house, we must demonstrate the empathy and the show of love and concern for our brothers. We must at this point handhold each other and provide a shoulder for our weaker brothers to lean on. Once God is in front, once God is leading, when you are righteous, when the righteous people are on throne, God will take control. The calculative combination of xanthophenes and xanophenes, including the chlorophyll, that helps in the photosynthetic process, that takes arctic absorption of carbon dioxide and oxygen, in a cumulative analysis, sequester them through a process of the xylem and the volume process. The protection of life without the protection of livelihood is a complete imbalance. A social cataclysm will come there from. So there must be a holy matrimony between life and livelihood. I don't need to tax my people to prosperity. I will tax my internet instead of taxing my people. I say what is fair is fair. As a political head, justice in the absence of fairness it's not justice. Justice derives its origin from the morality, the norms and custom of the people that every part of the state must be seen to feel and be part of government. For any man who depends on salary to remain a slave, for anybody who knows me, I have never worn a wristwatch because I've never been a slave to time. The superabundance of every performance is always detrimental to the performer. And that's why for every success to be successfully successful, the source of that successful success will be successfully secure. On a small bamboo farm, as part of the digital revolution that I have brought, 
that that Babo farm with a very rapid gestation period can give you an opportunity and an avalanche and of course a canalukili that allows you access into the nerve of the factory and you become a major input supplier. I believe in politics with ethics. I have never been extreme. I have never fought an enemy. I have never fought a friend. I believe that when there's a confrontation between morality, ethics and power, let power go. I have never been part of a process that is less than decent. And that's why my political slogan, right from my days in the Senate, is politics with ethics. I make a choice of you all the time because of the intellectual fecundity we share. The iconostasism that characterizes two people who are fellow progenitive at an intellectual cerebral level. It's obvious that You are only limited by the difficulty you acknowledge. When you put your soul above your problem, your body will follow. Any time your problem can only be resolved by money, it means the intellect has left you. But I'm driven by intellectual money to prove that indeed professors and indeed intellectuals have a greater opportunity to play in politics. And so let I had be a reflection of a classical exposure of a man who has good education and sound background from a business perspective. As long as we continue to do all the traditional in government, our people will continue to suffer. I believe that what binds us as a nation is much stronger than what divides us. And we must work on the strength of our unity and drive the name of the black man to recognition. It is better for me as a governor that I rather task my brain than to tax my people. No government can tax our people to prosperity. Taxation is an egalitarian redistribution of wealth. It comes with a responsibility on governor and on the government. Where government has failed in its responsibility to society, government lacks the moral credentials, therefore, to demand tax. My budget style is different, and that's why I have no paper before me. My budget style is just look at my state, look at our challenges, and imagine what you can do to give us that El Dorado that we dream for. And tell myself that don't be limited by the paperwork, the paper thing called money and currency. I can't be limited by that. In fact, it is actually the tonic that the absence of it brings out the inner best of us all. Provided you have a sincere commitment. Once I can demonstrate that crossover can move from third world to first world, I can then demonstrate that I have the competence and capacity for Africa also to see that development. Society can never be better if it closes its eyes to the challenges of the weaker world. The greatest religion is humanity. The greatest ethnicity is humanity. If we understand that philosophy, it underpins and underscores everything. I'd rather think big and aim high and miss than to think small and aim low and hit. It is only big visions that bring a nation out of poverty. And the vision is deep and big. The Sahalization of our savannas and the savannizations of our red forests is very clear that indeed, if we don't do something, what we see as climate change is real and will affect us. I am not desperate in putting a successor because no successor will ever deliver your aspirations. NSAS was a product of unemployment and a protestant masculinity against society. Please. Ask yourself, are you adding value to government? Ask yourself in your conscience, are you adding value? If you're adding value, fine. If you're not, please make a request for reassignment. In all the big titles I have, professor, senator, none of them means much more to me, like Sir Ben Ayade. Your Excellency, Sir Ben Ayade, congratulations, sir. Thank you. <laughs>